All right, hello, my friends. Today during the Zoom, I showed you my February crown that I am going to be wearing to school next week. I am going to be wearing it next week on February 10th, that's a Wednesday, when the A class will be in school. I'm going to wear it to school on Thursday, February 11th, when the B class is gonna be in school. I'm not gonna wear it on Friday, February 12th, because school will be closed that day. That is the, uh, the Lunar New Year, and school will be closed then. And of course, you know, we don't come Saturday. We don't come Sunday. Valentine's Day will be on Sunday. And then school is closed all this next week for winter break. We will not be Zooming during that time because it's a regular school closure. All righty. So on the days right before that big vacation, those two days, I would like you to wear your holiday crowns as well. Miss Janice, you're wondering, what holiday crowns? Well, you're gonna go ahead and make your own holiday crown. Next time you come to school, I will send you with a baggie full of some of the things that you will need. This is to make the crown. If your grown-up uses staples to measure your head and then staple it together, I'm going to say, please grown-ups, and please children, help your grown-ups remember, the staples, they face outward. The flat side goes against your delicate little noggins, and the pointy side that could come loose doesn't touch your head. Okay, so in the bag will be that red thing for the crown. Also in the bag will be some gold stickers, because really, why not? Also in the bag will be the decorations I used for my crown, and you can use these for your crown too. But you can also find what your family would uh, find important in February and put some decorations like that on your crown to or instead of. Um, you can print them off the computer or you can even look through magazines and uh, catalogs with your grown-up and with your grown-up's permission and sitting at a table and holding scissors the right way. Maybe you can cut them out yourselves working together with your grown-ups. Alrighty, I will also put in, let's see, a couple of little hearts for you. Now, how are you going to make them go on there? Let me get one of these and I will show you. Because, here we go. These pipe cleaners, in order to make them springy, what you gotta do is you gotta wrap them around a pencil. You're gonna hold it with your thumb and then wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. And then you have a little spring and that is strong enough to hold a couple of little pieces of paper. So um, I'm going to take this end and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to stick it right into one of these holes. And it doesn't need any glue and it doesn't need any tape. You just stick it right in the hole. Now, how are you going to make something stick to the pipe cleaner? I have my glue stick right here, and you know what I like to do. I like to rub, rub, rub the glue, rub a sticky spot. You don't just rub a tiny bit. You rub a glue stick until it's nice and wet and sticky. So I'm going to put that right on here. And you're going to say, Miss Janice, there is no way that's going to stay stuck. And you are correct. You need to make a pipe cleaner sandwich with another piece of paper. There we go. And putting those two together with the glue in between, there we go. That'll stay stuck. All right. So remember, I'm going to send you home with the baggie full of things that you need. And you're going to bring me back a crown on your head on Wednesday the 10th 
or Thursday the 11th so we can party party like it's winter break. Alrighty, look forward to seeing what you make. Thanks for listening.